Hey everyone and welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti and this is episode 5 of my cru Cruiser Clash tournament. And I keep messing that word up. <laughs> We've got uh, Team Black Sheep here facing off against the Stonewall Fortress. Team Black Sheep is by Back Black Sheep. The Stonewall Fortress is by Cashin. Um, if you'd like to see more about these two, uh, the overview videos... I, I mean, I do overview videos for every craft in the tournament, and the link to that playlist will be in the description. Uh, the Stonewall Fo Fortress is a later entry. It's not late. It came in before the deadline, but I, it is the first time we're seeing it, even though we've seen every other ship, because I recorded the first four episodes before it was submitted. I recorded them before the deadline so I could get a, a buffer going in order to... Uh, if I don't, you know, if I don't have time to record or whatever then for a few days then there will still be episodes coming out uh... so yeah we're gonna get right to it Just let me get to my uh... my timer here get it ready and we will get this battle underway and missile volley going out immediately from both sides those two hundred fifty millimeter cannons plugging away at the kite uh... don't know where those missiles are going they must be going for something more in the rear Oh, that bomb strike could be painful. Oh, it overshot. That's a shame. Uh, how, how's everything doing? Initial damage report, 96% on the kite. Everything else, 100%. Ooh, the kite taking some hits there. Those inertially fused heat shells are, are doing some damage. The uh, mini-sub is launching missiles and torpedoes at the stone wall. There's not really anything for the, the torpedoes to hit, though. Yeah, they just went right under it. Another damage report. Stonewall Fortress, 96%. Kites down to 72, 64. Oh, it has taken some big shots. Looks like those inertially fused heat... Oh, and there goes one of the turrets on the Stonewall. Can it survive one of those blowing up? It's down all the way down to 60% from that one str from that one hit. Uh, the kite is still alive, but heavily damaged. I'm not sure what the stone wall is shooting at at this point. Oh, it's gone back after the kite. And with all that damage... Oh, there's a huge explosion. Hit something important there. Uh, the kite is down to 51% now. It is going to despawn, but the, the stone wall fortress is at 55%. It cannot take many more hits, or it's going to despawn as well. It's repair bots are trying furiously to keep it alive, but there it is. There's the two damaged. Oh, but all that's left is the PT boat. It's taken out the mini sub. Can it kill the PT boat before it despawns? No, it can't. Oh, so close. So close. That was a really close fight. And the PT boat stands victorious. Ah. <laughs> oh. That is amusing. That is very amusing. That was a that was a great fight. Very fast paced, high damage. There was that was just a slugfest. Let's restart it and get round two started. And begin. We will see if this goes the same way or if uh, the stone wall can pull off a win here. The major thing are those cannons. Those cannons need to survive, or... Like, just destroying one pretty much kills the stone wall. I wonder what killed them bef killed it before, though, because I, di I didn't see that. I was looking at other things. Oh! Oh, that's a problem! The shields are attached to the turret, so when they turn around to face the, uh, the kite after it passes... It leaves this front completely exposed. Granted, the only cannon over here is the uh, the flak from the PT boat, which is definitely not the cause of the destruction. Oh, we oh we lost the turret over here. The Stonewall has lost its turret again. I wonder if it, it's the it it no. Those are just now going. Those are just now launching. It looks like, it may be the missile strikes from the mini sub that are causing it. I'm not sure these magnet. Oh no, they are. Oh, that's gonna be the end of the the stone wall. I think if any of those frags can get in there, nope, not quite. They were not able to get in there. Oh, but it is a 54% in two damaged. It is going to despawn unless it can repair itself. 
No, and there it goes. It is despawning. Yep, I, I am not sure. I'm going to have to go back and look and see. Well, actually, yeah, I'm not going to be able to see it. But this time the kites, everything on Team Black Sheep survived. The Stonewall Fortress did not fare very well in that battle. That's a shame. It's a very neat design. I like it, but the, uh, the multi-target design of the Team Black Sheep seems to have uh, caused it some issues. So, yes, those were some very quick, short, and sweet battles. They were entertaining to watch. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the battlefield.